When you create membership websites, it's important to have a specific page that everyone sees when they log in so that they are redirected to any other parts of your membership website. I usually call this page the dashboard, but of course you can call this page whatever you want. So in this video, we're going to be creating that page coming up. Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. I'm going to show you how to create a specific page that your members land on after they log in. So as I mentioned earlier, this page, I mean, I usually call it the dashboard page, but you can call it whatever you want. So let's go ahead and create this. Now, before I go ahead and create it, I'd like to also say the reason why it's important is because this page works as a hub, which then redirects people to anywhere they want to go on your website. All right, so let's dive in and let's create this page. So what I'm going to do here is to come to pages here and click on add new. All right, so uh, this page here, I'm just going to name it dashboard and then click on use DV builder. So we're going to build this page from scratch. So I'm going to click here on start building and then we're going to start adding our column structure. So over here now, I'm going to go with a two thirds, one third view. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. All right, so now that I've added my column structure, the next step now is to go and find my short codes that I need to customize this page. So I'm going to come back over here. Now, what I've done is I've just gone in and I've just created a you know standard page. So what you want to do to get these short codes is to add the classic editor. So I'm going to search for classic and select it. So with this selected now, if I click anywhere in here, you're going to notice that we have wishlist member here. And if I click on this drop down, you're going to see all these merge codes. OK, so we can really do some really cool things here. So let's say you want to uh, have a uh, short code here, which uh, greets the user. So by their first name, you can just click here on first name. And this is our short code. So I'm going to copy that, come over here and then let's add our text module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and I am going to uh, add my text module. So the greeting here is just going to be welcome, such and such. So I'm going to highlight all this and delete it. There we go. So that's my first part. So this is the part where the user come and they get greeted with their first name here on this dashboard. And this is a really cool thing to do uh, on your site and it's quite impressive. So I'm going to highlight this and set this to a heading. So let's set this to heading two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to design and then go to my heading text here, go to heading two. And we're just going to give this a font and uh, I'm going to go with pop in. So I'm just going to search for it and select it. Next, I'm going to make this bold. So I'm going to come over here and set this to bold. There we go. And then just coming back over here, I just want to make sure my short code is in there. And yes, it is. So now let's save. There we go. So this is where the name will show. So the next thing you may want to add here is perhaps maybe a welcome video. So let's add our video module here. So I'm going to add it. Now, what I usually do here on uh, this dashboard page is to uh, give this video an overlay image. So I'm going to come over here to overlay, and then I'm just going to click on this plus button and add my overlay image. So this image here could be whatever image you want. So in this case, we are just going to use an image here, which is to do with our membership. So there we go. But this also could be a welcome image, which has an image of yourself uh, introducing your members to the website. Now, what you could also do here uh, in this case is to have a message each time your users log in. So you can keep updating this video and uh, make sure it's not the same video all the time. All right. So now this is how this uh, image overlay looks like. So if I come over here to design, I can make further customizations by uh, maybe perhaps uh, reducing the icon size. So I can come over here to custom icon size, drag this down a little bit. And pretty much I think that looks great and save. Okay. Now over here on the right, what you could do is you could add all your important links. So these could be links to say support. It could be links to let's say specific articles that are protected in the membership and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a button. And then here, I'm just going to call this get support. So this is our support. And then here is where you want to add your link URL. So you want to come over here and add your URL. In this case, I'm just going to add a blank one. I'm going to save that. Now you can also add multiple buttons here. So we can just duplicate this a few times. So the second one here could be perhaps maybe start learning. And 
maybe this last one here could be your main resources. Right, so above here is where you may want to add, say, a title for that uh, particular section. So I'm just going to duplicate this and then drag it over here to the right side. And then I'm just going to go in here and uh, rename this and call this important links. And then we're going to save changes. Next, we're going to give this a bit of padding. So I'm just going to drag this to about uh, 160. Apply this to the bottom as well. Now, what you may also want to do here is to add a welcome message. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and add another text module and select it. So the text I'm going to use here is just dummy text. So I'm going to go in here and uh, just paste it in here. There we go. Now we need to stylize this text by coming over here to design and then click on text. Change our font to popping so that everything is all consistent. We're going to increase the size a little bit here by uh, just nudging it up a little bit to about say 17 and then increasing our line height. So that looks okay. I'm gonna save this. So you can see now that uh, this dashboard page is looking all uh, really nice because oh, your users can come onto this page, play this video and listen to the message that you've recorded for them. And there's also some text here that they can read. It can be any message that you want to add on there. And over here you have all your buttons that can link them to different parts of the website. So you may be thinking, well, what else can I do with this? Well, if we come back over here to the short codes, this can also show you further short codes that you can apply onto our dashboard. So let's click here and go to merge codes. So let's say you want to uh, show their membership level when they come onto this page. This is where you can say, okay, membership levels. And then you can highlight this. I'm going to copy that come back over here and then uh, you can add the short code here. So let's duplicate this. And then we're just gonna go in and say your membership level is. So now you can see we've added our short code. So what you can do here is to perhaps maybe drag this over to the left and then stylize it. I'm just gonna bring it here. And then I'm gonna go in and make it a bit smaller by coming over here to design, heading text. We're gonna go to heading two and then just reduce the size a little bit and perhaps maybe even change the color. So now you can see it's showing your membership level is gold membership. So it's pulled all that information from that short code and it's showing now here on this membership level. So this is really cool. So there's a lot that you can do here. You can highly customize this page. There are more short codes here. So if I come over here to merge short codes, you can see we can add a login form. We can add a um, login URL. There's a lot we can do here. It can also show your join date. So let's say you want to show them when they joined the membership. This is the information you can pull and uh, the expiration as well. You can add uh, when the membership is going to expire. So as you can see, we have quite a lot of information that we can add onto our members dashboard. All right, so all I have to do now is to save this page and uh, exit the Visual Builder. All right, so this is what your dashboard page could look like. So here we say we have the welcome message. We also have the message telling us what membership level your user is. We also have a video here to introduce or even give a message to your members. We also have some text on the bottom here. And then finally, we have some important links that all your members can link to from this dashboard. So as you can see, there are many ways to uh, stylize your main dashboard page. So go ahead, try it out and see how it works for your membership website. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care.